Hi guys, I've always wanted to make taffy. You know, the soft stuff that you see when you're on vacation on the big pullers. I finally got to make it today. Stand back. It went great. <laughs> Attempt one. And it's done. Two. Hi guys, I'm Rebecca. I'm a co-op here at First Build, and I've made a taffy puller. <laughs> <laughs> you sold me. It is a prototype at the moment, and ideally it will be hooked up to potentially a stand mixer or, or by a hand crank. Do cool now? It's starting to cool. And it is used to pull taffy when you make it at home. I made this prototype because I like to make cream candy at home. And when you pull cream candy, you're pulling it at around 150 to 200 degrees and you are burning your hands. So this is to avoid burning your hands when you're making your own homemade candy. Most taffy pullers are incredibly expensive and incredibly large. They can make up to 70 pounds of taffy. And I really wanted one to use at home. So we found out that for a regular candy recipe, this is way too long. So we're going to probably make this a lot smaller, also better for home use because you're probably not making enough taffy to fit on such a massive machine. Um, also, the stand mixer had way too much power. We uh, had it running way too fast for starting the pull. Um, so we were going to have to look into slowing that down or making it progressively faster so that you can put the candy on and then speed it up as you're getting it to a point of comfortable pulling speed. But this is just a first prototype and it's a lot of fun and I want one of these so I will definitely be working on making this a lot better. And hopefully next time you see me I will have some actual edible candy that is made on something a bit safer than this. <laughs>